Hey guys, how are you today? We are here this week in my creative year to discuss fonts <laughs> and using fonts in your artwork and using, as, as you know already because I've already said so, using words in your artwork I think is really important to convey your feelings and your emotions and your peace, whether you're putting it on a canvas or you're putting it in your journal. It doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. There's lots of different ways to get um, creative artwork into your piece, especially if you don't like your handwriting, which is what I want to talk about today. Um, there's a lot of classes out there that you can take, uh, uh, some on YouTube that are free, uh, that will show you different ways to do lettering and fonts, um, everything from calligraphy and brush pen to pen and ink work. Um, I don't remember what class I took that I thought this, that I thought this was a good idea, so I took a um, composition journal and I have one that's just for faces I have one that's for animals and I have one for fonts and so when I am in the mood I just sit down and I just take a pen and markers and I just practice different styles of writing and then at some point when I'm done with this which I have a long way to go um, it'll be a reference book for me of different ways I can write and create this is one that I use a lot that you see me do a lot um, that I can write and do something creative on my art uh, pieces. But if the idea of, of doing this scares you, much less using your own writing, that's fine. Get some lettering stencils. Y'all have seen me use these in my journals and different pieces. I'll grab my uh, moleskin journal here and see here this page here, broken. That's done with one of these lettering stencils. These are from the um, office supply store. And they come in a pack of four, each different size. It's just a basic font. And I just trace around the different letters um, with a pencil or a, a big pen. And then after I get it traced on there, I go back and I fill it in with a darker, usually a black gel pen. Um, so there's lots of different ways to get words and fonts into your artwork. Um, this is just a simple office supply store stencil uh, font stencil stencil font. You know what I mean. There might be others out there. There probably is. I can't imagine there isn't. Um, so if you are afraid of actually writing on your page, stencil it on. That works. But try, try it, and you can also print things on your computer in different fonts on your computer and cut and paste those in. That works too, and I, did, I still do that occasionally. Um, I also have some, um, I don't think I have any out right now, um, word stickers with different fonts on them. So um, use, you can also use scrapbooking stickers, but practice with fonts, practice with your writing. That's the direction I want you to go in, whether you actually write it on or you stencil it on and then color it in. Um, collage is great. I love my stickers. I love my words. I love collaging them in. I'm not going to ever stop doing that. But I also, there's nothing, there's something to be said for doing it this way. So give it a try. I want to see what you do. And um, if you want a safe place to share it in, the My Creative Year Facebook group is available for you to join. The link's in the description. So go over there and, um, yeah, safe, creative place full of like-minded people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Buy yourself some lettering stencils. That, that's it for this week. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.